Hey everybody, this is Mr. Miller back here, and this is uh, Wednesday the 13th of May. Uh, this is, uh, I guess we're two days away from the AP test at this point. Uh, you guys wrote the essay from yesterday, uh, and I've gotten most of those from everybody so far. So uh, my plan is to get those back to you uh, at some point today, so hopefully that happens. Uh, I hopefully we'll be able to do that, uh, to read them and, and get them back to you at some point today. The very latest, they'll be coming back to you tomorrow. Uh, I also want to have like a check-in sort of thing on, I guess, tomorrow. Um, not sure quite when yet, though. Uh, maybe like late afternoon. I'm not sure yet on that either. Um, yeah, probably late afternoon. Uh, I'll, I'll send a, I'll send an email out. I keep meaning to send an email. I'll probably have sent an email by this time this is posted. Um, uh, yeah, so I'll probably have sent an email already. So hopefully, uh, Thursday afternoon we can have a, have a little powwow, um, where we'll be able to, you know, just check in, make sure everybody's on the same page, make sure everybody's got everything they need for the test and, uh, make sure everybody's all ready to go. Um, also, I want to kind of check in, if we can, at some point Friday afternoon. Um, my screen's shaking because I was hitting my desk. Uh, at some point Friday afternoon, I want to have a check-in after the test is over, like 4 or 5 o'clock, somewhere in there, uh, just to see how you guys think uh, think everything went, um, how, what sorts of issues you might have had, uh, any concerns in that regard. So keep that in mind, uh, Thursday late afternoon, Friday late afternoon, two Zoom calls or Hangouts or whatever we'll do, probably Hangouts, uh, not Zoom calls, um, or Google Meet or whatever, I don't know. Now, uh, today and tomorrow, uh, I have nothing planned for you guys uh, because I, I think you guys should probably take this time to uh, focus on the important things that you might be uh, needing to focus on. Um, one thing that I would mention. Uh, don't dedicate any of your time to anything uh, before 1754, uh, before period three starts, and also uh, after 1945. So don't spend any time on that stuff. Uh, you know enough right now to be able to use context if you need to use context of those time periods. Uh, don't spend any more time on that. Um, what I would say, though, is that, that you guys know where you might be feeling weak in, in what areas. I might uh, refresh myself on the rubric. I might go through those organizing eras in American history. I might go through uh, some of those review sheets that we've been looking at. Uh, what I used to do when I was studying for a test, uh, whenever I've studied for tests, I would always just kind of reread stuff. Uh, so I've spent, uh, I, uh, if I was you guys, I would have been spending a lot of time on those period three, four, five, six, seven review sheets. I might read them, uh, just read through them all, uh, make sure I know kind of all the main points and refresh myself on those. Uh, I might do that every, or I might do that today, I might do that tomorrow, I might do that on Friday. Uh, just read through them once each day. Uh, so then you're, you're feeling good about these things. Uh, it shouldn't take you more than more than five, ten minutes to read through each of those, so uh, I might do that. Uh, just use this time however however it would be most helpful for you to use. Um, yeah, so so I would I would I would say, you know, you guys are, are gonna be okay. Uh, I saw your essays. Uh, I was not lying when I gave you the grades that I gave you because they were good essays. So you guys know how to write an essay. You're strong writers. Uh, I have I have no worries on that front. And uh, you guys know outside information and you've got you've got this. So uh, it's just making sure that your your mind is straight and you're you're in a good spot to be able to uh, succeed on Friday. So, like I said, what I would do, uh, not cramming or anything, uh, because that's proven to not help, but, you know, I'd spend some time rereading those review sheets or uh, reading through some of those pages that we've done. I would also start gathering, if you have not already, start gathering some resources to have in front of you at the test. Okay, so you can have stuff in front of you. Uh, you can have a review book in front of you to maybe check on a date real quick if you need to if you're just blanking on something and you really want a date. Uh, can't take too long, but if if 
that's something that you want to do, that's okay. As long as you finish the rest of the essay, I'm okay with that. Um, but start having some of those things ready. Uh, get a copy of the rubric uh, ready so you can have that in front of you, uh, the format, any of that stuff. Uh, get uh, maybe some of those review sheets in front of you that you might want to have. Uh, get uh, the organizing eras in American history. I think that might be helpful to have in front of you. So to, to kind of keep those things in play, uh, to have right in front of you that you might be able to reference a little bit if you need to. Okay. <coughs> That way, that way everything's kind of right there and it's one less thing you got to worry about on Friday. So start gathering that stuff. That would be a smart thing to do, I would say. So uh, otherwise, uh, that's all I've really got for you today. Like I said, I'll get those essays back to you hopefully at some point today uh, and also plan on two meetings, uh, one Thursday afternoon and then one Friday afternoon. So, uh, two days away, keep it up, keep working, keep going well, uh, and finish this, uh, finish this off strongly. So, uh, with that, I will see you guys back here again on, uh, tomorrow. Let me know if there's any, uh, any questions or concerns for anybody. One quick thing to mention, uh, Wednesday night live tonight, if you're interested, uh, I'm inviting back Mr. Vossler. We had a good time last time. So if you're interested, uh, tune in, watch 9 PM tonight. Uh, so that'll be fun. Uh, no, I'm not telling you what we're doing tonight though. Uh, so if you're interested, okay, we'll see you guys back here again tomorrow.